hello good morning to you all precious god i thank god i thank god i am so so happy today may god may be praised today is melvin one year birthday i thank god for his life <laughs> i thank god for my life i am overwhelmed i am full with joy i am happy i am grateful to god almighty for his life i thank god if i if i if i if i want to express the way i feel how grateful i am to god almighty we will not live here today god has been precious god has been faithful god has been praised in my life i glorify the name of god almighty i thank god for the life of my son for the life of my uh, two children, for the life of my husband and for my life and for the life of my extended family, everybody around me, my friends, my well wishes, including my white family, I thank God for everything. Today is a, is a day of joy in my life. Today, God, today was the day I gave birth to Melvin and I give God all the praise. When I remember during the pregnancy, it's, it is a miracle. I thank God. I glorify God. I bless His name. You are the reason why I'm singing Jehovah. You are the most high God. You are the reason why I'm happy Jehovah. You are the most high God. You are the reason why I'm singing Jehovah. You are the most high God. You are the reason why I'm happy Jehovah. You are the most most I go, Jehovah, you are the most I, you are the most I go, Jehovah, you are the most I, you are the most I go, that I just want to say, Baba, oh, I say, I just want to say, Baba, oh, I say, you are the reason why I'm happy, Jehovah, you are the most I God, you are the reason why I'm grateful, Jehovah, you are the most I God, you are the reason why I'm sleep, uh, singing, Jehovah, you are the most I God, Jehovah, you are the most I, you are the most I I go, Jehovah, you are the most high, you are the most high God. Father, in Jesus' name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everlasting King of King, Lord of Lord, I thank you. I glorify your name because you are God. Father, Lord, any way that I have sinned against you, Father, forgive me my sins in the name of Jesus Christ. Forgive me my sins, oh God. Lord Jesus Christ, I want to appreciate you. I will continue to appreciate you and I will continue to say thank you. I will continue to praise your name. I will continue to be grateful to you because you have done it, Lord. You always do miracles in my life. Father, Lord, you, I don't know. I don't know why you love me so much. I don't know why you love my family so much. Father, Lord, oh God, you have blessed me with the fruit of the womb. Jehovah, Lord, I'm celebrating my second son, Melvin. Jehovah, Lord, I thank you for his life. I thank you, Lord, because today is his day that he mark one year. Father, Lord Almighty, oh God, I ask, oh God, that you continue to bless him. You continue to bless him, Lord Almighty. That, Father, Lord, he will shine, oh God. He will shine in, in his generation. He will age with grace, oh God. He will see his children, children, oh God. He will not die prematurely. He is a superhero. He is a superstar. He is a mentor. He is a super celebrity. He is a living legend. Lord Almighty, oh God, the world will stand still and wait under the rain under the sun, under the snow, in the, in the, in the dark. 
just for him to come to sign an autograph. Father, Lord, he will be celebrated. He will be an hero. He will love. He will show love to the world. Jehovah Almighty. Father, Lord, oh God, you bless me, oh God. Father, I am using the motherly tongue right now to bless my son, oh God, to confirm his blessing upon his life, oh God. I dedicate you, Melvin, oh God, to God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, the God that made me to bear you, the God that made me to carry you in my womb, the God that made me to succeed over the nine months, the God that made me to, to have you in my hands on, on this day, 2018. That God that I am talking to, that God will make you shine. You will not die, Melvin. You will not seek. You will grow to be a great man. You will grow to be a great man. In your time of growing up, you will not associate yourself with bad guns. In your time of growing up, you will not associate yourself with evil. Evil will not see you. Evil will not come near you. With a motherly voice and motherly voice, I call on God Almighty to seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus Christ. Melvin. It is well with you. It is well with you, my son. Goodness and mercy shall follow you. Yeah? Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Father Lord, I ask you for more wisdom. That you will give me wisdom as a mother. To be able to bring up my children in the fear of the Lord, O oh God. Father, give me that wisdom. Protect them. Give them more wisdom. Give them knowledge, oh God. They will be a great people. They will be great children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious God. I dedicate my son almighty to God almighty. I dedicate my son to God almighty. It is well with you. Thank you, Jesus Christ, oh God. I cover my family. My son, Brian, his father. Me, my son, Melvin. My extended family. My well-wishers. My friends. My a YouTube family, I cover everyone with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. It is well in Jesus' name. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, Melvin just woke up. And um, this is um, 6 a.m. in Germany. I mean, sorry, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. in Germany. So they just woke up. And yeah. So. God has been faithful. When I, when I got pregnant for Melvin. It was like a magic. I, I never knew. Because I bleed, I was seeing my period. Normally, I was seeing my period till four months. Sorry. So, four months, the period stopped. Then I went for control. I went to the doctor. I said, doctor, I didn't see my period this month. And the doctor said, okay, let's make control, let's check. I go to urine and da da da, and uh, I went for ultrasound inside, and they saw baby. <laughs> they saw baby. I said, "Oh, you see baby? Uh, How many months? Wow, is a boy. What? Is a boy? I just came in. They said it's four months old. Oh my goodness. I said, goodness God. <laughs> And then I was I was short of words. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> but I look at my fourth son. I said he needs a brother. He needs somebody to play with, you know. <laughs> so I said, thank God. The doctor said, um, are you happy? I said, of course I'm happy. Do you want to keep the baby? I said, yes. I want to keep the baby. Of course I'll keep the baby. <laughs> So I pick up my phone and I read stuff for Antenenta. I pick up my phone and I called my husband. And I said, sister, he said, come home. And I got home. He was so happy. And he said, if uh, the baby is okay, that's Melvin. I said, yes, everything is okay. And they said, it's, sometimes it's normal. Some people um, get that kind of pregnancy. You see your period and at the time it stopped. And then you confirm that you're pregnant. Um, 
I would have noticed even with the period, but I was or, or I was only concerned about the period. I never feel I will never feel dizzy. I never feel fever. I never feel nervous. Um knows what is it when you feel as if you morning sickness i never feel those things so <laughs> so i don't know you understand but i thank god is healthy it's very healthy so when when melvin was eight months pregnant when i was when i was sorry when i was <laughs> sorry when i was eight months pregnant for melvin i had the voice from god <clears throat> and god told me daughter i want you to have an operation a cs don't go for normal births i woke up and i told my husband see the message i got from god he said wow are you sure i said yes i'm sorry i was looking because i don't want it to be long i said yes i am very very sure oh, i wanted you to have a normal birth. i said but god said no so I went to my doctor. I said, I want to register for a cesarean, an operation by the, for births. He said, why? Why from, from, from choice? Why? Choice, why? I, I said, that is what my mind said. If I don't do that, maybe I'm going to lose my life. And you know, in a broad year, they listen to you. So they registered me and everything. It's about it's about it's about hands. I am afraid because I the message was so clear. So on on when Mel, when I was uh, nine months pregnant for Melvin, I went for the second to the last control. When I got to the hospital, Bremen not thank you so much, Bremen not thank you. When I got in Bremen not uh, hospital, when I got to Bremen not for the control. And uh, they told me, oh, you are not going home today. I said, why? They said, you are not going home today. The baby is so big. How big? Said, uh, five, five kg. Five kilo, five kg, if I'm mistaken. That's five, five thousand. <gasps> and it's not up to the dates. I was supposed to have Melvin on the 21. It's not up to the date. They said, no. They cannot allow me to to go. I called my husband. I said, take care. You have to leave wherever you are. He said, no, he's at home with Melvin, uh, with Brian. I said, good. I said, I will not come home today. So, because they said I cannot go, that they want to bring out the baby. It's too big. I said, okay. That um, do you want me to bring things? I said yes. Bring some. Bring my hospital bag because I've already packed my hospital bag. So I packed my hospital bag, and uh, it has been packed. So because I know any time, you know, so I have arranged it. So my husband brought it, brought water, brought bread and stuff and like that. Just picked things and brought it to the hospital. I told them don't spend time here. You can go. So on the seventh in the morning, like this time. I woke up around 6 a.m., took my shower, brushed my mouth, shave, you know. <laughs> they even shaved me more because I was not seeing my down path, but they sh I just managed to shave. I wore my gown. I drank coffee. You know, they said I shouldn't take even water, I remember. They said not even water. I was waiting. So around 9, they called me. They rolled me down. I was down. I, I was there in the theater and... I signed some papers and um, I told God, God, thank you. My, my husband could not come because he was with Brian, yes. You know, that's Europe for you now. No family, we are all family here. So he was with Brian. So I said, God, let your name be glorified. So it was so nice. I, I saw them doing the operation, but I could not feel anything. I could not feel pain. I didn't feel anything. My, my, life, my leg was lifeless. That is what he told me. So I just had nya, 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 the cry of a baby. I said, huh? Is that my baby? And then the midwife brought, oh, this is your baby. And my baby was like, with you know this echo? I don't know if people know echo. People that that stays in Yoruba land and Benin will know what I mean by echo. I eat it too much for Melvin. So the woman was saying, What did you eat? There's so much white. 
I said it's a uh, traditional food. So they went, they cleaned him up and they brought it for me and they rolled me down. So my husband and Brian was already waiting downstairs. So that is how, that is how God did it for me. I want to pray for those that are looking for the fruit of the womb. Father Lord, you bless my mouth. Yes, Shati. Sorry. Father Lord, you bless me. I'm coming. Wait, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm going to answer you now. I'm just give me five minutes. Father Lord, you blessed me with the fruit of the womb. And you bless my mouth. And you said, whosoever that is looking for the fruit of the womb, that when I speak the word, you will answer. Jehovah Lord, I am praying for those looking for children. For those that want the fruit of the womb. Father, bless them. Let them share testimony the way I am sharing testimony. And for the men that could not impregnate their wife due to a, 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 a low sperm count, Jehovah Lord, I ask that you visit them, or break them, and give them a spiritual medication that they will be able to pregnant their wife. Lord, this I ask to Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give the uh, video a thumbs up and love you. I will keep you updated. We are going out today. I will, I will keep you updated. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and don't forget, you know, Brian is also December. So uh, Melvin is not going to do a party. They will do it together with the brother. They will do it on one day. So I will keep you updated. Bye for now. Love you. Bye, guys.